the unix now we're going to take this podcast from the book of matthew the 19th chapter and the 12 verse where they wrote some are born eunuchs from their mother's womb others were made eunuchs by other men but some have also become eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven now this is deep you all know what eunuchs are in the ancient times eunuchs lived in temples those who were somewhat castrated which means these men did not have sex they were dedicated to temples and so when you are told some have chosen to become eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven obviously we all know that the bible talks about the kingdom of heaven is within that is why we talk about the chakra system we talk about the tree of life all of this was in Kemet also in fact he began there when you look at this artwork you see the soul on your right hand side holding the tail of the serpent remember the story of exodus where moses was told to throw his staff on the ground but before that god asked moses what is that in your hand that should tell you that this is just a story because god knows everything god does not need to ask a man what is that in your hand moses then moses said my staff throw it down to the ground and he became a serpent and then Moses was told to pick it up by the tail and when he did that he became a staff so here we have the soul holding the serpent by the tail but there's a middle passage where you have Sobek the crocodile the crocodile of the Nile river this is a force within all of us this is a force of creation when one conquers the lower desires of the sexual appetites one is given a staff on the opposite side let's say to the left hand side you see the soul now is ahead of the serpent these are all part of the mystery system in ancient Kemet because all the miracles Moses had to perform before Pharaoh was for what purpose to set the Israelites free from bondage and we all know the things that we do in this world this lower realm is keeping us in bondage and so the mere fact that you are told those who have become eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom should tell you The mystics of ancient world or the ancient world did these things so they knew they had a place in the afterlife. Unlike today where people feel they need to die before they go to a place they desire called heaven. Even though most people cannot do away with their physicality. They think they're going to take their flesh to heaven. But all these practices were 
to give birth to the soul. A new, as you are told in Genesis, the Abraham story. The divine soul, which is Isaac, is according to the promise. But Ishmael is according to the flesh. So most people need to rethink their actions. The other day I was listening to two boxers about to fight. One of them said to um, his opponent, Normally I abstain for eight weeks before my fights. But because you are such a lightweight, I think he said I will abstain only for four weeks or two weeks, something like that. This is to tell you the power within us that all the sportsmen know and women that obstinance gives you power. And this is why Samson lost his power. When his seven locks was cut, he became blind and he was put in darkness because he lost his spiritual eye. That is the true meaning of Samson and Delilah's story. He was intoxicated. He fell asleep and lost his positive energy, the seven chakras. These are all maps within the human body and the Kabbalah tree of life. Different realms of existence, that's what you're dealing with. And so now when you read this, Matthew 19 and verse 12, about the eunuchs. And of course, you have been told already, in the kingdom of heaven, people will not be given into marriages. This is not for everybody. Naturally, some people who are righteous in this world, at the end of their soul journey in this world, they will go back to where they came from. But for the most people, reincarnation will be our portion. Because this mystical system was designed for people to find total liberation so they can have the power to taste the heavenly realms even though they are in a physical body. And so the abuse of the sexual energy which I believe we should make a podcast about the Kundalini energy in the near future so you can properly understand but for now those of you who have any ideas about going to heaven I want you to read this verse Matthew chapter 19 and verse 12 so you can understand why some have chosen to become eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven because the kingdom is within you If the soul can tap into it from within, because that's where the real you is, not on the outside, but within. And so the boat of Osiris in ancient Kemet is about the soul's journey. But this serpentine energy must be controlled. Peace.